guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this friday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here and if you are looking to have a personal reading done you can contact me via my email or via my website details will be in the description box below and we are going to bring in a few decks today to check in with the energy to see what's going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines as we move into this powerful weekend with the 8-8 portal of which I talked about yesterday in my video. Um, do check that out if you haven't seen it. I talked about what is bringing in for all of us and, you know, which is new beginnings and sort of spiritual change, sort of spiritual growth and advancement as well in your gifts and in your, in your ascension path. And also also, you know, what you can do for yourself as well on this day. So do check that out if you haven't seen it. And um, and then, so we are going to bring in a few decks to see what's going on. So we're bringing in the Crystal Unicorn Tarot to check in to see what's going on with the Divine Masculines. Thank you, Angels. Okay, and then thank you, Angels, with the Divine Feminines. Anything going on with the Divine Feminines? Thank you, Angels. What is happening with the Divine Feminines as well? Okay, right. And then we're also going to bring in um, the Star Seed Oracle to see what's happening. Thank you, angels, with the Divine Masculines. What is going on with the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. What is happening with the Divine Masculines? Thank you, angels. What is going on? Okay. And then for the Divine Feminines, what is happening with the Divine Feminines? Okay. And we're also going to bring in the Lover's Oracle today to see what's happening. Thank you, angels, for the Divine Masculines. What is going on for the Divine Masculines? And then what is happening for the Divine Feminines? Thank you, angels. Okay. Right. So we'll bring this in first and then we'll see what is going on. So the first cards that came out for the Divine Masculines... So the first card is the seven of wands and the seven of wands is really sort of about sort of being defensive. So this is showing that, you know, your divine masculine may be a bit defensive right now, not moving forward to tell you how they feel, not communicating or, you know, sort of just keeping to themselves. And, you know, there is this sort of defensive energy. And if you don't hear from them, you know, this is showing that they are sort of working on certain things. They have those fears that came up in the message that came through last week uh on the channeled message that i did you know did, uh, do check that out if you haven't seen it about the fears that they're working on releasing so they may be a bit defensive that's the energy that's coming through because they are working through all these things and the next card that came out is the two of wands so this is about you know sort of making decisions it's like they're sort of at that crossroads making decisions about which way to go what to do in their life so that can bring that defensiveness as well on the part of the divine master because they are in this place of trying to sort out things in their life. You know, they've got sort of fears coming in. They know they want to go a certain way. So there is this sort of time of making decisions coming in for them to help them to move on their path to where they truly would like to be. So they can be a bit quiet because they're trying to work all these things out for themselves. And that, that really makes sense. And the last card that came out is the Eight of Cups. And this is about that walking away from the things that no longer serve them so they're working on this you know they are trying to work out what to do you know to get away from certain situations can be comic situations they're working on this for themselves so they may be a bit defensive a bit quiet because they're trying to work all these things out in for themselves and they are also working on walking away from fears as well you know the fears that are holding them back from being able to move forward towards their divine feminine so this is about them going within to try and work out how to actually leave these things behind so they can move forward you know they can sort of move forward towards the life that they truly desire so they are working on leaving behind what no longer serves them so that they can be able to move forward towards that life that they truly desire so this is the energy of what's going on with them at the moment as we move into this weekend and then for the divine feminines the cards that came out wow so the hermit has come out for the divine feminines today and this is about you sort of going within and this really makes sense especially with this um energy that we have of the eight eight portal you know we've got the new moon coming in and we've got 
this powerful 88 portal and this is about you going within to really sort of think about what it is that you want for your life and connecting you know this is exactly what i was talking about yesterday as well do check out that video setting your intentions about the life that you truly desire so this is about you keep you know getting away from the outside worlds this weekend going within and working on yourself, putting yourself first to find out exactly what it is that you want to do, which way you want to go, what you want for your life. And, you know, but that you do that by actually quietening your, your inner, you know, your outside world and going within. So really powerful that came out for the divine feminine. And you are also the empress. You came out as the empress here. So that's about nurturing and, and you know, being nurturing to yourself as well this week. Weekend, especially with this all these energies that are coming in it's about you looking after yourself so you know be nurturing and caring to yourself you know rest when you need to look after you go within do what is right for you so you know this is really more about that nurturing energy towards yourself but you are coming up as the empress you are also nurturing and caring to your journey you know you are looking after your journey by sort of leading your divine masculine home towards you as well by shining your light and then the next card that came out well also the eight of wands has come out here so this is showing you that your journey is moving forward the more you keep focusing on yourself the more you set your intentions and you know for the things that you desire the life that you truly want to bring in as you move through this portal as well on sunday the angels are showing you here that you know things are moving forward in relation to your journey so it is helping you to actually move forward for your journey to move forward as well and wow powerful as well that the chariot has come out for the divine feminine so this is showing that forward movement as well in relation to your journey and you know forward movement in yourself as well as you go through this portal um on sunday and you know so this is showing you that they are great things that are coming in and this sort of forward momentum that is happening in relation to your life so there is hope for the future for you, Divine Feminine, in relation to the things that you truly desire. So do take that time to set those intentions because there is hope for the future, for the life that you truly desire. Really, really beautiful. And then the next card that came out as well for the Divine Feminine is the Fool. And this is about new beginnings. So really powerful that this has come out because that's the message that came through yesterday as well, that this portal is helping you to move into new beginnings. So you are sort of working on taking that leap of faith into the life that you truly desire and you know that going within can also be about you actually thinking about the things that you want to do for yourself you know it can be in your career moving forward towards your mission sort of leaving the job that you're doing taking that leap of faith and it's about going within to actually see where you want to make changes in your life and then taking that leap of faith moving into your new beginnings to do the things that you're truly here to do so the angels are showing you here that you know this portal is bringing in new beginnings for you and that chance to leave behind what no longer serves you and take that leap of faith into the life that you are truly meant to live the life that you truly want to live as well really really beautiful and then the last card that came out is the six of pentacles and this is about balancing giving and taking so you are working on balancing that giving and taking as well as a divine feminine you know you're getting more balance within yourself as you keep moving forward on your path you know this this portal is bringing in that spiritual growth as well and that is also helping you to get into this place of being balanced within yourself balancing your masculine and feminine energy but also you you know being more balanced in the way that you do things in your life and learning to get more balance in sort of you know and giving and taking even in the relationship you know with your divine masculine you're learning that it's about getting into this place of not being the one to just give 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 as a divine feminine but to have a relationship that is more balanced so this is showing you that this is coming in for you as well and this portal is helping you to move in that direction. So really beautiful. And then the cards that came out from um, the Starseed Oracle for the Divine Masculines is align your life. So really, really powerful. What is not aligned or needs to change? 
that's powerful that that has come out for the divine masculines you know and they had that card about walking away from the things that no longer serve them as well so really powerful what is not aligned you know or needs to change and this is what the divine masculines are thinking about this is why they can be a bit quiet a bit defensive because they are also using this energy of this portal to think about the things that are not aligned the things that they need to walk away from and they're working on doing this they are also being guided because the angels are showing them what is not aligned what needs to change you know the fears that they need to get away from what needs to change in the way that they living their life and so you know they are working on aligning their life as well and this portal i really feel is going to help them to really see the things that are no longer aligning with their life and help them to walk away from the things that they need to walk away from and the last card that came out for the the same no there's there's two more the next card that came out for the divine masculine is the council of light and it says divine orchestration help us in the subtle realms wow help us in the subtle realms and divine orchestration so this is showing you that whatever is going on in your divine masculine life this divine masculine's life is divinely orchestrated you know everything that they are going through you know in their life the lessons that they're learning the whatever situation that they may be in is helping them to get to where they're truly meant to be because it is all divinely orchestrated it is their path that they're following to help their soul to grow to help them to learn as well on their path and you know they also have helpers in the in the in the other realms in the subtle realms that's their spirit guides their ancestors sort of guiding them the angels the ascended masters you know helping them as they move along on their path so your divine masculine is not alone they are being guided everything that is happening in their life is is div divinely orchestrated to help them to get to where they're truly meant to be and the last card that came out is trust your path. So the divine masculines are being given, you know, are being guided to trust the path that they are being guided to follow, you know, to trust where they're truly meant to be, to trust the situations that they need to walk away from and, you know, move towards the life that they're truly meant to live. And it says, if you knew you would be supported, what would you do? So this is about the divine masculines really sort of knowing that they have that support and gaining the courage to do what they need to do with the knowledge of the fact that they are being supported by the helpers from the other realms. So really powerful. And then the cards that came out for the divine feminines, the ever unfolding rose. So divine feminine, you are that ever unfolding rose. You are continuing to transform, to grow, to, to change, you know, to, as you walk through this portal, you are, you keep growing that spiritual change that came through yesterday. That's a about your growth, your, your evolving as well, and you are this ever unfolding rose. And it says you're being cracked open. It's happening for you, not to you. So everything that is happening in your life right now is happening for you to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be. You are being guided as well on your journey. And everything that happens, the separation that happens with your divine masculine, the lessons that you go through when you are in that place of fear as well, it is happening to help you for it so that it is happening for you so that you grow stronger as a divine feminine and you keep moving forward on your path you remember who you are that you are this strong and powerful divine feminine and you release all that fear and keep moving forward so it is all happening for you not to you and you are this ever unfolding rose you keep growing you keep transforming and you keep moving forward on your path and the next card that came out is unbound and it says releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives so divine feminine, this is what you're doing, especially as well with this portal. You know, I talked about it in my video yesterday. There's a lot of releasing that is going on, even in, in the dream state, you know, and this, uh, this portal is really helping us to let go of all that no longer serves us to heal on a deeper level as well. And this is you being unbound from, you know, the things that have sort of been holding you back to things to do with past lives, 
you know, certain contracts that no longer serve you and releasing certain patterns that no longer serve you so that you can be free to move towards the life that you're truly here to live. And the next card, the last card for the Divine Feminine from this deck, you are already doing it. So the angels are saying you're already doing what you need to do by working on yourself, by focusing on you, working on your mission, you know, letting go of the fear, moving forward towards love and really just sort of doing what you are doing on your path, light, light shining your light bright to help your divine masculine. You're already doing what you are here to do. So keep doing what you're doing. Stop overthinking. Keep facing your true north. So divine feminine, stop overthinking overthinking, you know, worrying about what's going on with your divine masculine on the 3D and, you know, whether they're moving forward towards you. Stop overthinking. Let go of all that fear and keep facing your true north. Keep forward, moving forward, facing your true north as you go, as you continue to transform and grow as well on your path because you are already doing what you, you're already doing what you need to do by, by focusing on you, by focusing on self-love and, you know, and shining your light so you are already doing it just keep doing what you're doing and keep facing your true north really beautiful messages and then the cards that came out from the lovers oracle for the divine masculines it was only one card and and really powerful as well you can see on the back there and it says transformation so your divine masculine is going through this transformation you know it's like their heart they're sort of going through this time of change as well your relationship with one another is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so the angels are showing you here that you know with your divine masculine walking away from the things that they need to let go of the fears you know everything that holds them back from being with you their divine feminine as they move forward towards you your relationship with one another is about to deepen so your relationship is moving to a higher level it is about to deepen love conquers and transforms all things so the love that your divine masculine holds for you is what is going to conquer it is what is going to help them to get to you their divine feminine to get to where they truly would love to be and love transforms all things love is what transforms your divine masculine that love that they have for you in their heart you know it is what transforms them so that they can be able to move forward towards you so you're being asked to trust keep doing what you're doing which is focusing on you and focusing on that love that you hold as well for your divine masculine because that love is what transforms in everything it is what helps your divine masculine to transform as well to keep moving forward towards you and that love is going to conquer it is what is going to bring you together and then the cards that came out for the divine feminines the first card is close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in really really powerful the angels are saying no matter what is going on in your life no matter what may be happening with your divine masculine or not happening with your divine masculine you know you can find joy in your life you deserve to be joyful as well you can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances it is about the way that you see things change your perception and realize that everything that you're going through is happening to help you to become stronger to help you to get to where you're truly meant to be and then the last card that came out is let there be closeness between you but always give each other space love never claims it simply allows and gives that's really beautiful. That's that unconditional love, you know, between you and your divine masculine. Not trying to control things, not trying to make things happen. But, you know, it's, it let the closeness be between you, but always give each other space. You know, right now it's about giving your divine masculine that space to heal so that they can be able to do what they need to do so they can be able to move forward towards you. So the angels are saying, give them that space to heal. 
love never claims so it's not, it's it's about not claiming or trying to make it happen or wanting them to do certain things love never claims it simply allows and it gives so you allow them the time that they need to heal to do what they need to do so they can be able to move forward towards you and you just give that love you know you don't have to actually do anything you send that love that unconditional love from your heart and you know that is that giving of the love and allowing them to do what they need to do really really beautiful so we are going to also bring in the divine lover oracle cards to see what messages are coming through today as well so thank you angels what messages are coming through so the first the cards that came out two cards the first one is follow your bliss so really powerful especially when there was the other card about finding your joy as well as well as the divine feminine the angels are saying follow your bliss and the message is my greatest wish is for you to be happy so this is a message from the angels that they have their greatest wish for you is to be happy but also from your divine masculine i feel good when i know you're happy this is your divine masculine saying to you, they feel good when they know that you are happy. Do something that you enjoy today just for you. So do something for you that self-love, you know, something that you enjoy that brings you happiness and joy. Feelings of joy and hope will bring us closer on our journey and will put you at ease. So your divine masculine is saying the more you feel joyful and happy in your life, that will help them to move even closer to you as well, to bring you uh, closer when you are joyful and you have hope that this love is going to, that love you are going to be together at the time that you are meant to be then that helps you to bring that brings you both closer and or, on your journey and it will put you at ease you get out of this place of fear and worry and panic and you really find that inner peace as well so you're being asked to follow your bliss and this is 21 as well which is really powerful you know this 2021 follow your bliss and the last card that came out is divine timing and 44 that's the angel speaking to you there and it says we have got we have got this and god has got us so this is a message for you and your divine masculine we are on a journey a divine dance on the soul plane it will manifest into the physical world in perfect divine timing all we have to do is trust and have faith and so it is. So divine feminine, this is a message for you from your divine masculine that you just have to trust, you know, from the higher self saying we have to trust and have faith and, you know, and continue on this journey, knowing that it is all going to come in in the right divine timing. And that's a message for you from the angels as well to really continue to be in this place of trusting and having faith, knowing that you you have got this, you know, by more, the more you are trusting and having faith and trusting in divine timing, the more everything is just going to fall into place for you. So really, really beautiful. And we are going to finish this reading uh, with the divine timing deck as well. So thank you, angels. What messages well, are coming through for everyone today? So that's uh, the wipe the slate clean. So the angels are showing you that, you know, you are going to wipe the slate clean. The new year is bringing in new beginnings as well. Wiping the slate clean with your divine masculine and great things coming in. So thank you, angels. What other messages are coming through for everyone today? What other messages are coming through for everyone? Okay, so let's see what other cards have come in. So... The other cards that have come in is also Halloween has come in here. So, you know, we are very close to Halloween now. Fun and frolic. So this will be a powerful time that is coming in as well. And we also have cleanse. So this is showing the time that we are going into. You know, winter time, we are moving into... Well, we or we are moving into August. We are sort of going into autumn, you know, and then from autumn, we go into the winter time, which is all about cleansing. And, you know, we've got Halloween as well, which is about fun and frolic. And then that's going to bring us into the new year, which is about wiping the slate clean of starting again as well in relation to your journey. So you're being asked to stay positive because so everything that you desire is coming in and luck is on your side again. You're being asked to stay positive because luck is on your side. Everything that you desire is coming in and also be grateful. So really powerful that we've got, you know, um, 
Halloween, which is October, gratitude for November, winter time is the time for cleansing, and a new a new slate in, in sort of New Year time, January. So this is showing you that, you know, they, there is energy of, you know, power and energy coming in at the Halloween time. You're being asked to continue to be grateful, you know, for your journey, to continue to trust and have faith, use gratitude at all times. And a cleansing is happening that is bringing in a new slate when it comes to your journey. So in the meantime, you're being asked to stay positive because luck is on your side and great things are coming in. So I hope you have a great weekend, guys. Remember, 8 8 to Take that time for yourself and set your intentions, meditate, and, you know, have a great weekend. And I'll see you on the next video Monday. Love, peace, positivity, and light.